language scaffolding. What do you mean by scaffolding? Scaffolding is a way to support children's learning of language. It helps a child move from simple language to more complicated language. Scaffolding language means helping a child learning a new skill by building on skills that they already have. Adults give support by talking to children in different ways. As a child learns the new skill, the adults can reduce the amount of support they give. One of the fundamental notions of this approach is based on the perspective of Vygotsky, which states that what a child can do with assistance today, she will be able to do by herself tomorrow. Scaffolding can be used by all the adults talking to a child, including parents. Providing language support at the right level for a child can really make a difference to their talking and understanding. The aim of using scaffolding is to make language accessible to children and help them move on to the next stage. Adults using scaffolding can help to reduce anxiety about talking for children they are working with. Successful scaffolding relies on you knowing the language level of the child you are working with. Here are some examples of most common scaffolding techniques you might use in your practice. First, repeat what the child had stated the correct way. For example, when the child say tar, you will say yes, a car. Next, say it again a different way. For example, when the child say milk gone, you say yes, milk is finished. This helps children learn new words. Another, repeat and extend. For example, when the child says, Yes, milk has gone. You say, Yes, milk has all gone. You've drunk it all. This helps children learn to speak in longer sentences. Another, pre-teaching vocabulary. It's important to think about your choice of words. For younger children, these will probably be concrete words linked to what you can see or what you are doing and useful for early conversation. With older children, you may choose words which are useful in school or linked to their topic. Next, sentence starters. These can be used to scaffold conversations and for starting thinking about topics. Start a sentence and leave a gap for a child to finish. For example, one thing I enjoyed about our school trip was... And then, we let the child state or complete the sentence. So, since the starters can also be great for encouraging quieter children to join in. Next is with the use of questions, especially ones that have no right or wrong answer. For example, what would happen if, or what do you think he might do, or what shall we do next? So those are examples of questions that will give the opportunity for the children to answer in their own vocabulary and to communicate their thoughts about what you are asking them. There are different things we need to put in mind or to consider in using scaffolding as an approach to the different settings in the learners. Firstly, we need to remember to think about our own language. Does it match the language level of the child you are talking to? Does the child know and understand the words or the vocabulary you are using? Use straightforward sentences with simple grammar. Perhaps break up information into short segments. For example, so you finished coloring. Now cut, then stick it on the paper. Um, another to consider is how fast are you speaking? Think about reducing the speed at which you talk and always try to include pauses. This helps understanding and allows time for information to be processed. Also, we need to think about the age of the child we are working with. 
What are the skills you'd like them to learn? The environment you're working in. What are the different opportunities there will be to practice or develop their new skills? So we always need to put that in mind. Here are some benefits of scaffolding instruction. First, students experience a supportive learning environment. Students also feel free to ask questions. They provide feedback and support their peers. Teachers become facilitators of knowledge rather than concept experts. Students take a more active role in learning. Lastly, students are able to take ownership of their learning and their classroom is a community of learners. So in a nutshell, this approach enables teachers to provide temporary support that helps students reach higher levels of comprehension and skill acquisition that they would not be able to achieve without assistance. Language scaffolding provides sufficient support to promote learning.